So I wanted to talk about this issue I've had syncing my computer tower LEDs with the LEDs on my RGB keyboard. Uh, so I have this motherboard. It's an MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. And I really like this motherboard. It's got some cool LEDs uh, on the board. And with the BIOS update, I'm able to run my third generation Ryzen 3900X. It also works with my Trident Z RGB 32 gigs of RAM and my Cooler Master 240 milliliter uh, all-in-one cooler. But one of my favorite things about the motherboard is this program, MSI Mystic Light. It's really lightweight and easy to uh, quickly change the lights on my motherboard uh, and my RAM. And it doesn't take up any resources in the background. It's super simple. And I just think it's really cool. Now, I had a Razer Chroma keyboard. I, I bought this keyboard at the Micro Center for $45. It was actually a really good keyboard on sale for $45. Uh, and it does a lot of cool stuff with its RGB lights. But in order to do so, you have to download Razer Synapse. And if you've ever had Razer Synapse on your computer, it's a big pain in the butt. It launches every time you start up the computer. Um, it can use up resources. It'll actually sync with MSI Mystic Lite, but it was using up like uh, a 5% CPU usage on idle when you connected them. It's just a big bloated program when all you want to do is have your keyboard like a static color. Um, so my solution for this was I thought, you know, I've got an MSI motherboard. Uh, Mystic Light is really good. I'll just buy an MSI keyboard. So I picked up the GK50 low profile keyboard on Amazon. This was about $80 and my motherboard was about $160. So I'm pretty, you know, I've thrown some money at MSI at this point. And they have some other keyboards, but their other keyboards kind of have that like black and red gamery theme that kind of got burnt out in 2010. And I thought this was really sleek. Um, the silver profile and the keys, it just looked really cool. So I just assumed I would be able to plug this in and this would just work with Mystic Light. But as you saw, I have the keyboard plugged in right now and it's nowhere to be found, um, which annoyed me pretty hard. It's like uh, this motherboard is pretty new and this keyboard is pretty new. Why is Mystic Light not recognizing it as a supported device? Well. I went to the support page for the GK50 and select the utility and it's taking me to MSI Dragon Center and I'm kind of like what is MSI Dragon Center you go to MSI and this is where things kind of got weird for me so you go to MSI.com and you can see all their products and their ODM solution and the community and what's new and services but where's the software? Where's the tab? Just I just want to go and look at their software suite. Uh, scroll down. Oh, MSI apps. This must be what I'm looking for. No, these are all mobile apps. There's not a place just to go see MSI software on their website. And that's because their software is so fragmented. Each device uses a different software or a different version of software. And just to show you this, um, you can go to the Dragon Center. Here's the page for Dragon Center. And this is Dragon Center 2.0. Um, 2 but if you go to Mystic Lights, here's the page for Mystic Light. You scroll down. Um, and let's just go to Download. And Mystic Lights 3 that I was running, here it says only for Windows 8 and Windows 7 users. What? That's not right. Let's go back to... Uh, support for our b450 motherboard utilities windows 10 at mystic like three what I, I, who's running on windows 7 and 8 now i mean windows 7 is defunct this ain't right um and here they've got dragon center under mystic lights but this is dragon center like one point something this is the older version of dragon center um and so it's just so fragmented. You can't just go to software from the main root of their website. And when you Google this, you know, you'll find one version of Dragon Center under the Mystic Light download, uh, another version for this. Um, and you just can't 
do drag like just regular mystic light will not connect with your keyboard so at first i thought maybe i have an older version of mystic light so i just went to info but there's not any way to like check for updates you just have to go to the website and go poking around like you have to find your device and then go to support and then utility and then windows 10 and then download the current version of whatever version program works with your msi device do you not see how like bad this is just for normal consumers like if you're not tech savvy this is a total nightmare why can't i just go to msi's website see the current suite of applications and just download from there the app that I need that's backwards compatible with all their devices. It's is a total mess. But luckily for me, the GK50 does have a way to just cycle through basic RGB colors. But like right now my tower is just green and my GK50 is just green and they're kind of two different versions of green. My tower is sort of like a lime green and the GK50 green is more like, um, like a Everest green. So if you want to fine tune that, you kind of have to download Dragon Center. So I'm going to go ahead and download Dragon Center and uh, just show you this program. And the whole point of buying the GK50 uh, keyboard was to get away from Synapse, which is a big bloated program. But now I'm having to download Dragon Center, which Dragon Center is this big bloated program where you can like overclock your computer and like optimize your games and I don't want to do any of that. I just want my keyboard's lights to match my computer's lights. Like that isn't a big request. I want the green on my computer to match the green on my keyboard. So now we're going to go ahead and just uh, install uh, MSI uh, Dragon Center so you can see what a total soup sandwich this program is. All right, so I'm turning on MSI Dragon Center for the first time and immediately like, um, please view our privacy policy. Okay, it's just looking at this. This program looks sketchy. This user interface is not welcoming like red text on a dark background. Like is this HTML MySpace stuff? And now it's telling me like you have to, like what was that? Like I clicked something and it like popped up what is, it, what is it saying to me? Please install the 1DC underscore SKD dot EXE automatically downloaded from the MSI li uh, live update server. What is that? Why is Why did I just download this program and now it's prompting me to download another program? What? But I'll do it, I guess, because I want my keyboard to work, right? And now on my desktop, I have the 1DC underscore SDK. Let's just click on that. And now we have to, we install the program so we can install another program. waiting okay now it's it's doing now it's downloading more stuff what this already is like super freaking sketchy i just wanted my mystic lights to work it was a light like one time install program like really easy and now this is like turning into like a virtual nightmare uh of dragon center like downloading things uh sdk packages from websites like like what is going on right now all right, so I've installed Dragon Center. Dragon Center has installed a bunch of other wacky stuff on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and start Dragon Center. And now I have to please wait patiently for the modules to load. Everything's loading. I just want my LEDs to work. Can I just make my keyboard the appropriate color of green? And then also to say, now that it's removed Mystic Lights and installed, my computer's now like re oscillating RGB rainbow. Um, so let's go ahead and log in. So another thing, I don't want to have to log in to a program just to control the RGB on my computer. Like that's what, why, why can't I just have like a, a normal lightweight program that just does that? So let's go down to mystic lights. And finally, uh, 
It does, it's not even showing my keyboard now. What? There it is. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in, and now it shows my keyboard. Great. Um, that was a total pain in the butt. But let's let's just go through this program. Um, so I have like gaming mode. W what is all this? Like MSI app player not running or I mean it's telling me look at all this bloatware. It's like uh look at all this user scenarios. Like this is where it like will automatically like mess around with your bio stuff. I don't want it to change my fan curves. I don't want it to go to extreme performance and mess around with my CPU BIOS. Um, a monitor, I guess this is pretty cool. It tells you, you know, your CPU and like your fan speeds and your frequencies and all that. But I mean, there are better programs. I mean, you can see here, I've got core temp, I got GPU Z, um, you know, I got other monitoring software that I would rather use. True color, uh, again, I don't, I don't want it to mess around with my GPU color settings. LAN, I, I don't want any of this. Bluetooth drivers, I, I don't want it to mess with my drivers, the Google toolbar, smart tool, gaming hotkey. No, I just want Mystic Light to recognize my keyboard. Um, so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall Dragon Center and just go back to Mystic Light and just suffer through having my keyboard as a dark green and my tower as like a lime green because it's not worth it. Let's go to Task Manager. Look at how much memory this is using. Um, 10% of my memory and like it's using 239 megabytes just let's close it up look it's still using 200 even when it's closed it's just in the background it's like using more memory than OBS studio that's recording me right now like I, I can't keep this on my computer I'm using 10% of 32 gigs of memory uh, just sitting here, just to have the colors on my computer all the same shade of green. It's redonkulous. Um, so MSI, get your stuff together. This is not cool. Make the standalone Mystic Light work for the GK50 keyboard and for your motherboard. I don't want to download Dragon Center. I don't want you to mess around with the BIOS or my fan curve or give me statistics about my computer. I just want a simple program that makes me able to control all the RGB LED in my computer. This is completely nuts. I bought this keyboard, this $80 keyboard, to get away from Razer Synapse, another bloated program. I don't know why these companies keep thrusting these programs down our throats. We don't want it. And I just want to say also that I've been playing around with this, and now one of the sticks of RAM in my motherboard, the lights have gone off. And I've had to uninstall Dragon Center, restart my computer, it comes back on, but the Dragon Center is so glitchy, it can't even manage my four RAM sticks right. Like, one of them's gone. I can't I can't simultaneously be able to control the color on my keyboard and not have the lights on my RAM just go, like, crazy. This software is total trash. Just let the standalone Mystic Light do its thing. 